Let's take a look at Package Builder. This is our way of asking Chocolatey to say, hey, you know what, Chocolatey, you're pretty smart. Why don't I just point you to an installer file or a zip or something, and you can actually just wrap an entire package around it. And if it's an installer, figure out what those silent arguments are for me. And so here we are looking over our local cache of files, our installers, and we're asking Chocolatey for every supported type here. I want you to run this particular command, chocolate new file, which is package builder, and ask it to go ahead and try to build up that package. Also, we're going to have it look at a, a UNC path. Now, I wouldn't recommend uh, localhost if you're doing this in production. Uh, it doesn't really scale well. Um, and we're going to say, hey, use the files from this UNC path and keep them at that original location. So don't actually embed them into the package. And then lastly here, we're going to ask Chaco to go ahead and download from a URL and a 64-bit URL. And then we're going to pass it some checksums and allow it to create a package for us. So we're going to kick that off so we can actually see this run. Now, you're going to see uh, that it's able to very quickly go through and create packages. Now, if we take a look here, at the one password package this is an executable installer and so I'm hoping that uh, Chocolatey is able to figure out uh, some information about this particular uh, software and it is it does know that this does come from agile bits and it's able to pick up that version when you head into tools folder you can see it created that shim gen ignore for me automatically and I get an install that uh, it determined it was in a setup so it gets all of the right style arguments that work for chocolatey right here for me uh, and it's built this complete package around uh, one password uh, that i can pick up and take anywhere in about five seconds now it's also created a package for an msi here this is puppet agent uh, of course you know i expect this to be uh, have all the information it needs because it is uh, very rich in information because it's an msi uh, there's a really interesting thing that you'll note when you're looking at MSIs, and a lot of us have to go out and research uh, MSI properties so we know exactly what else we can put in the silent arguments so we know we can pass to this particular package. Now, Chocolatey, uh, Chocolatey for Business, actually adds all of that as uh, comments down here with all of the different MSI properties that I can pass. And so this is going to save me a ton of time because you know, I don't need to go research to figure out um, you know, what the particular thing that I'm passing is. I don't need to go research to figure out to make sure that that's current with the version that I'm trying to use. I'm getting the actual MSI properties that are valid for this particular uh, MSI. And so very quickly, I'm able to ramp up uh, and create packages.